Here's your champion of the game, sponsored by Pernia Law Group. Welcome back, everybody. Last night, Valencia High School beat Oaks Christian 28 to 14 in the CIF Southern Section Division Five Championship game. Ray Hall had a pair of touchdowns, including this 16-yard score, and the defense held the Lions in check as the Vikings won their first ever Southern Section Championship. That is incredible. Now we welcome into our studios uh, Valencia head coach at Larry Muir, middle linebacker, Reed Farrell. First of all, coach, thanks so much for being here. You know, you've won the, uh, the Foothill Championship League in the last oh, 11 out of 13 years. That means, mm -hmm. that means you get good players, but it also means you know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we, uh, for, first of all, great players, great families that invest in our program. And uh, just been so fortunate and honored to have uh, surrounded by great people and great coaches. So, yeah. But well, what did great. it mean to, to win the, the, the CIO's first championship? Oh, it was so special. Uh, it was, you know, for our community, all the alumni. We've had so many players over the years uh, that had poured into the program. And just all the blood, sweat, and tears that had gone on to that program. And, and this was a special group that brought it home and finalized it. But it was certainly a celebration of an entire community. And here's a special player right here, Reed Farrell. Reed, Thank let's you, talk just a little bit from a, a player's perspective, yeah. what it meant to win. Yeah, um, the entire experience was awesome. I mean, when the game ended, obviously, when we finally won, mm -hmm. looking over the sidelines, seeing the alumni and all of them running down the sideline and everything, that kind of that showed us like what we did. Like Seeing the alumni happy was exactly it. And I mean, we struggled in the beginning of the year. And they come out, and our team, like, we all came together. We finally, like, found a way to make it work. Coach, what's, what was different or what is different about this team as opposed to some of the ones in the past for you? You know, I, I think, you know, we, I think the adversity that they had been through, they, they with, with COVID, we had lost, two, there were two COVID games that we had lost uh, that we just didn't get, a, didn't get a chance to play. And so we were at a large bid into the playoffs and we weren't sure if we were going to get in there or not. And I think the kids just took the maximum out of their opportunities. I think they understood the opportunities that were in front of them and they poured into it, and they poured into each other. Giving it, giving it your all, right, Reed? Exactly. You, exactly. Watch this. Beto. <laughs> Beto. Now, no, no. You, you, you were listening to Reed, right? Yeah, yeah. He has the voice of a linebacker. Get yeah. out of my way. Man, bro. Anything that comes in my way, I'm knocking it down. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's why I stay far away, and I know I'm, I don't want to hurt anything right now. Uh -huh. oh, but Reed, though, I did my research on you, man. I, I checked out your Instagram, Reed Farrell 44, right? Yep. Team USA Baseball, you're a shortstop, you're a stud athlete. But then people started telling me, uh, make sure you ask Reed about fire. What is it about you and fire? Um, I've really always wanted to be a firefighter. You know, my yeah. dad, growing up, always taught me this uh, blue card mentality. And firefighting, firefighting is exactly that. I mean, it's very physical, hands-on. Then you have the team aspect of a station all come together. So I like that a lot. It's able to get hands-on. You know, the other thing about it, Beto, is it's helping others and saving lives and, and exactly. giving back to the community. And that's yes, what this is all. That's what yes, it's sir. all about with you, right? Yes, sir. Exactly. exactly. Coach, when you hear one of your players talk like that. Not only is he great on the field, but off the field as well. Oh, it's such a it, it's such an honor to see these young people do great things, uh, and to see them grow out of high school and, and see them become great dads and husbands and do serve their community and do things that just it blows you away. Just it's an honor every day to be around them, and it's uh, it really is uh, something special. And, and you know how big of an honor it is to have him coaching you too. Oh, of course, exactly. You better believe it. They yes, are sir. they're two of the best. That is. For